These groin hernias are far more common in men. A bulge in the groin which gets progressively bigger as the day goes on or after heavy lifting which causes discomfort and sometimes pain. Sometimes the bulge disappears by morning after laying down or can be pushed back in. This is caused by a defect in the strength layer of fascia in the groin, especially in elderly patients, and it allows the tissue from within the abdomen to push through directly into the groin. More commonly, especially in younger men, a natural defect through which the cord and vessels pass through to the testicles is what becomes enlarged, allowing other tissues and organs to pass through into the groin and towards the scrotum. Rarely, a hernia may occur through a potential space near the big vessels as they pass from the abdomen into the thigh. The laparoscopic approach allows for 1. A quicker recovery 2. Coverage of three potential hernia sites in the same groin 3. The ability to repair hernias in both groins in the same setting and using the same small incisions. A left-sided hernia containing a piece of small bowel is shown. Three small trochas for laparoscopic access are placed. A space is created between the layers of the abdominal wall. The hernia sac a thing covering over the hernia contents is seen going from the abdomen into the groin. This is dissected out and returned towards the abdomen or reduced. The small bowel is reduced as well. Fatty tissue called a lipoma herniating through the opening is removed and returned towards the abdomen. Now only the hernia defect along with the cord and the supporting blood vessels are seen. A piece of mesh is then used as a barrier to patch the defect, preventing any tissues from herniating from the abdomen into the groin. The mesh is fixed using a tacking device. The wide area of the mesh coverage ensures the durability of the repair, reducing recurrence.